Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys why I decided to big chop and what I plan to do differently. If you guys don't know, I recently big chopped my hair about two weeks ago and it was probably the best decision that I could have made for a number of reasons. So reason number one why I decided to big chop my hair was because I needed some shape. You guys, my hair was terrible. It was so flat. I cannot deal with it at all. And I personally prefer shape and volume over length any day. I can grow long hair, but for me, I need like volume, I need shape. And for me, I need something else besides just like length. Whenever it's just curly and long and just way down, it looks terrible on me. I have to pick my hair out like a million times and I hate it. It makes styling my hair a lot harder. I needed some volume, I needed some shape. So that's one of the main reasons why I decided to big chop my hair. And then also number two was because I had some severely damaged hair. I was holding on to it for a while. It's been kind of damaged for a while now. I cut my hair last year to a asymmetrical bob and I pretty much wore my hair straight for about like three months straight. And I think that kind of damaged my hair because this year it kind of got worse and worse and worse. I started to realize that the top crown area was pretty flat. It was just like straight pieces, like all in the crown area. And I personally could not deal with it anymore. <laughs> my bangs were terrible and pretty much non-existent because there were just so many straight pieces going on in the front. And I just hated dealing with it, you guys. Like damaged ends are your worst friend. <laughs> I had tried, you know, protein treatments, all that good stuff, but nothing really helped revitalize the straight pieces. And after a while, I just let it go. <laughs> I was like, you know what? This isn't working. It's not worth holding on to these damaged ends whenever I could just big chop and start off fresh and, you know, get curlier hair. So that is what I did. I let my damaged hair go and I got myself a shorter cut and a lot of volume and shape. And I am so, so, so happy I did. One, styling my hair is so much easier because there aren't as many tangles like I did have whenever I had my straight damaged hair. And because it is shorter, it makes like my wash and goes go by 10 times faster my hair dries 10 times faster so um overall you guys i am enjoying <laughs> this short hair like i love it i don't want for it to be short forever so i do plan to grow it out but for right now i am embracing my short curly cut and embracing the curls that are kind of growing back in and forming upon itself again i do have a ton of shrinkage so right now my hair is about this long and it bounces up to that short. So I definitely have a ton of shrinkage. I don't necessarily mind shrinkage because for me that means my hair is healthy, my hair is curly, and that my hair is very moisturized. Whenever my hair is dry or damaged, my hair just kind of hangs down and it has more length to it, but that necessarily isn't a good thing. So I prefer shrinkage over dry and unhealthy hair any day. My hair is like, has tons of volume. I have a lot of layers in my hair. Um, I did get my hair cut at the Michael Flores Salon in Dallas, Texas. It is in downtown Dallas, and I got my hair cut by Glenn. I believe he moved salons like last week, <laughs> so um, I think that he is Glenn Loves Curls on Instagram. I'll leave it down below, um, but yeah, he just recently moved salons to a different salon in the art district in um, downtown Dallas, so yeah, I love him. He is awesome with curly hair. He styles all different textures. So that was the one thing that I wanted in a stylist. I wanted a stylist that knew how to work with different textures. He knew how to cut my hair properly. He walked me all the way through, you guys. Like I started off by telling him what I wanted, how I wanted my hair cut, my inspiration, all that good stuff. And then from there, he took what I told him and went with it. So he didn't stray away from what I wanted. He cut exactly how I wanted my hair to be cut and it turned out bomb. So I am loving it. Glenn did an awesome, awesome job. And it wasn't very expensive either. So praise Jesus. <laughs> it wasn't that expensive. Um, I would not make the mistake this time of comparing my hair and my hair texture to other people's hair because that will get you caught up. That will get you just kind of feeling discouraged and I do not want to feel that way at all. So I want to focus on my hair, <laughs> my texture and growing my hair out as healthy as possible. There are a couple of things that I do want to do differently this go around. With the second big chop, I definitely want to focus on giving my hair the TLC that it needs. I will admit that I definitely neglected my hair um, over the past like half a year. I was pregnant. I had so much stuff going on that I kind of neglected my hair and I definitely saw the results from doing that and I don't want to do that again. I want to have very moisturized curls. I want to have, you know, just healthy curls. So that means 
deep conditioning every week faithfully and shampooing my hair faithfully because whenever I skip out on shampooing for too long, my hair gets really bad to build up. My hair feels super flat, super dry, and just really blah <laughs> to be honest so i definitely want to focus on deep conditioning shampooing and making sure that my hair is moisturized at all times also i definitely want to protective style but not do it so frequently when i was pregnant you guys i protective styled like pretty much my entire pregnancy i hardly wore my curls out because they were always put away <laughs> it was either always in braids or in twists and they were always put away and I had extensions or wigs or crochet braids and that messed me up a lot because whenever they're put away for so long I neglect them and they also kind of break off a little bit because they're always rubbing against other hair whether it be real hair or synthetic hair so I definitely want to focus on protective styling but not so frequently I may do it for a month and then give my hair a break for a month but not so close together so that way I can tend to my hair and what my hair needs and that way my hair can grow and have a break in between the protective styles the number one thing that I want to stick to this go around is definitely no heat I struggle with that you guys so much because I either straighten my hair just for the fun of it or I straighten my hair to get my hair trimmed and that has definitely played a part in how my hair got so damaged to begin with so I definitely want to do a no heat challenge um, for a very 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 long time that means no flat irons no nothing I will use a diffuser but that's about it besides that no straightening my hair no flat irons no nothing so that is what my goal is i am super excited about this new hair journey my big chop is different but i am loving it i haven't had hair this short since my first big chop which was back in april of 2014. it has been an interesting hair journey the past couple of years but of course i have been you know learning day by day so i'll be taking you guys along on my journey to growing longer healthier hair so stay tuned for lots of more hair videos and hair tip videos i know youtube stays tripping sometimes so in order to not miss out on any videos make sure you are subscribed and also hit the notification bell down below so Hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye, guys. Mwah.